This video is a quick introduction to the skill of note-taking and why it is important in good research and writing. Before internet research became common and easy enough to do on a mobile device, most researchers used print books, print journals, and print newspapers. Research classes taught the technique of using note cards to take notes and organize research, creating a reference entry card with a number on it, and then numbering each card that took notes from that source with the same number. From the perspective of today's researcher, this was probably about the, t the same time that dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Today, research is generally done a bit differently, primarily because digital resources are so much more prevalent but also because there are digital tools for note-taking and organizing your research. Despite all these digital advantages, it can be a lot easier to lose track of your research today than it was back in the days of pen and paper. A student can skim through 10 articles online in the time it takes to track down one in a bound volume of print journals and easily lose track of which one had the quote or bit of information they decided to use in their paper. As you might expect, this can lead to unintentional plagiarism. So what is the solution? Find a method for note-taking that works for you and use it. It could be as low-tech as printing articles and numbering them, then putting the number of the article in parentheses as you write so you know which article to cite later. It could also be as technological as using a reference manager like Zotero or Mendeley to upload articles, annotate and take notes, and eventually write your paper in Microsoft Word using a plugin that lets you pull citations into your paper. The most important thing is to pick a method that works for you and be consistent. The other thing about note-taking is that you actually need to take notes. Don't just highlight and rely on your memory later as to why you thought those two sentences were important. Write notes on the printout or in a notebook or wherever you're taking notes. Tell yourself why it's important and how you plan to use it. If you want to quote it, be specific about why and where it should go in your paper. If you don't want to quote it, write a paraphrase or summary on the spot so you don't get mixed up and unintentionally plagiarize later. It may seem silly to go through all this work before you even start writing, but think of the note-taking process as part of the writing process. This slide is an example of how that works. You may have heard of Doris Kearns Goodwin, who wrote a biography of Abraham Lincoln called Team of Rivals. These days, Goodwin is a noted biographer and historian, but at the beginning of her career, she made a mistake that could have cost her her career. Instead of paraphrasing everything as she researched, she quoted verbatim from a source without noting that she had done so. Later, when she wrote her manuscript, she accidentally used that passage without quoting it, which is plagiarism, whether it was mistakenly done or not. This cost her credibility in her field as well as real money, as books had to be pulled from sale in order to correct the mistake. Many critics noted that if she'd been a student at the university where she was a faculty member at the time, this mistake might have cost her academic career. Goodwin also ended up having to pay settlements in a lawsuit filed by those she'd wronged in the plagiarism case. For many years afterward, her books were heavily scrutinized for more plagiarism. She may have lost further credibility and chances at advancement in her field, all over a case of sloppy note-taking. The point of this video is that whatever your level of writing or importance of your assignments, always take yourself seriously and put in the effort to be honest in the information you use and create. It takes a little bit of work to avoid careless mistakes that can cost you big time later. Develop those note-taking skills and use them. Next, you'll take a brief quiz to confirm your knowledge, then gain access to tutorials on important note-taking skills including paraphrasing and summarizing.